Isolated Warrior on the NES. Now, this is a game I don't have very much experience with, but from what I hear, it's a really good game. It's got a really cool artistic style to it, and it's got a, some really cool core mechanics that I'm really excited to dive into. Like It just looks really good. I believe this is made by Vap, Vap Games. Not sure what else they made. I think it's the only title that they developed on the NES. So, and it's what published by um, NTVIC. So I think it's like the only published and developed game by those two companies. So, <clears throat> not sure much. I don't have any research really on that company. So, don't know what they've made in the past, but it looks really promising, guys. So let's jump into it. Isolated Warrior. That's like all I hear in my head on the title screen. Isolated Warrior. Go. Okay, scene one, player two. Make sure you guys can hear that. Okay, so he's got like two different type of jumps. He's got like a regular, oh no, he's got like a regular jump, but I think you can delay it too. Soundtrack is really good too. Okay, so those are my grenades. So I shouldn't be wasting them like I am, but I'm trying to get used to the controls real quick. The jumps are really floaty. Oh, what the fuck did I hit? The wall? What killed me? like a Mega Man like um, soundtrack almost it sounds very Mega Man-y right Oh, nice. So I got like a spread. Oh, I'm taking some damage. Enemies are like non-stop here. Oh, that's badass. Oof. 
Can you get health throughout the stage or no? Dude's taking a lot of hits. Oh. oh man, that was tough. I thought I had him, but then he... He had like a second form to him. Okay, so I believe, oh, so that's health that I'm picking up so far. Yep, so that's definitely health. I like this a lot. Ooh, level four upgrade. Let's go. Alright, here we go, guys. I almost like the level 3 power up better than the level 4. I just don't like how it spreads. guy wears you down. Oh my gosh, that was really close. That was on like my last hit. some serious shit okay computer distribution of war forces captain max maverick confirmed captain max maverick is the only survivor of the special forces fucking mad max in this code number 1227 scene 2 player 2 alright guys I get to keep my uh, my upgrade too, which is nice. Oof. I gotta pick up some health. Oh.
Nice. Level 5. Oh, so much better. I feel like how I am in Contra when like I lose my spread and I'm stuck with like the basic weapon. Okay, found my target. I don't know how I'm missing those, but I am. Oh boy, here we go, guys. Some serious slowdown right now. It's kind of helping me out a little bit. This is a fucking serious boss. I don't think Andros has anything on this guy. He's got some like crazy like serpent millipede creatures. I don't know what you would call those coming out of him. If I can just kill off this first. Oh, did I get him? Oh, I got him. Let's keep moving. Let's get this guy.
Come on. Let's bring it home, guy. Fucking Mad Max over here. That was ridiculous. Like, the amount of shit going on on that screen is fucking ridiculous. A familiar sight unfolds before Max as an eerie breeze blows past. Is he seeing an illusion? Alright, so scene three. I don't have any lives. Took a hit. Oh, there's my shield. Okay, let's do this. Okay, I really need to get a weapon power up here soon. that life. Whew. Dude, Vap Games knows how to make a hell of a shooter. This is awesome. This game is not forgiving in the slightest. Dude, like laying traps for me? Okay, we gotta lure him up here then. So I can shoot him.
There we go. We got him. I can make this jump. Oh. Oh. I'm already out of life again already. Oh. Hitting the lava is just really taking taking me out. It's what's going on. Okay, we got some life. Oh, I didn't. Oh. Man. I like this, but it's just it kicks your ass so much. But it's like the game knows that. That's why it's like so forgiving as far as like continues. This is so tough. I love this part of the stage. This is so cool. I need that. <laughs> Thank you. Seriously? Dude fucking picked me off from all the way up there. Okay, so <sighs> Isolated Warrior is a really good game. It's challenging. It's got a good balance shooting and stage enemies, but it's just it does kick your ass. It's very uh, it's very re repetitive. You will be, you know, you got to learn with repetition pretty much. It's like any other shooter. But it's if you the biggest thing I feel is your power-ups if you aren't powered up going into the second and third stage and you die and you start back with your base weapons like you are getting punished for it the whole way so my recommendation is <laughs> beat stage one and don't die again because you can fully power up through those first first stage but going through stage two and three i just could not 
get uh, weapon level ups, and that was the big thing. So, it, it kicks your ass. But if you have the right weapons, I feel like this could be, uh, you know, much easier playthrough. It's just like in Contra, you have the right weapons at the right time, you're going to breeze through it. But as soon as you lose your spread, or as soon as you lose, you know, your machine gun at just the right time, you're going to get punished the rest of the stage. And then also, it's just like knowing, knowing your route, knowing how to get through it. But I need practice. And that was my first real go at this game. Like I had breezed over it a few times before, like quickly. But that was my first time sitting down for a good hour and practicing it. And... I like it. The music's great. Um, the sprite works fantastic. The level designs are great. Um, it's very cool. The bosses look badass from you saw, especially that stage two boss. So I need practice, but I will come back to this, guys. There will be a part two video, and when I do, I'm coming back with a vengeance. So, guys, check out Isolated Warrior. Um, I just saw Mike Mate play it on Cinemasker recently, and that's kind of like what drove me to play it again. So, and just seeing, you know, Let's Play of it kind of hyped me up a little bit. So, um, <clears throat> I'm excited to come back to this again. And on my next playthrough, um, we'll see. I'm definitely going to do some more NES right now because i am just been in the mood for NES this week. I'm just, you know, sometimes I'll, I'll go to Super Nintendo and Sega. But then I always just want to go back and play some Nintendo. So, alright guys. I will see you on my next video. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you soon, okay? Take care, everybody.